off the bat. There we go. There we go. Welcome back, fishing friends, to another adventure. Uh, except for this one is more of like a how-to video. But before we get to that, let me show you a couple things. So I got two orders of these Pro Series Berkeley Twitch Tails. This one is, I think, like the watermelon color. Uh, it doesn't have it labeled on here, but this one is a watermelonish kind of color. The ones I usually get is like a a smelt but both of these will work and these are just phenomenal when you're doing some ultralight even well even for bass you know I've caught some good sized bass on these but anyway so I got this order in it's three inches go ahead and test them out give them a shot they don't have the paddle tail you can kind of see the tail in here it's just that little uh, it kind of just draws down to like a little itty bitty slender tail but hey, the fish don't mind. The other thing is, I picked up um, some one eighth ounce uh, VMC Moon Eye jigs. I love using these things, and I just needed to restock from this summer, and so that's why I got the uh, pick those up. So what are we going to do today? Well, it's a fall day. I don't know if you can hear it up, but it is super windy here. Uh, the wind chimes going. Leaves are starting to fall. And uh, I'm going to do this how-to video. I showed you a little bit of the hack cam uh, in the last video. Just a quick little, you know, how it fastens in there. Nothing big. Well, today I'm going to kind of explain to you how to make one. So we're going to do that. But uh, first of all, let me say, hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate everyone's support. And uh, let's get to it. <clears throat> So I usually try to get these trucker style caps. And part of that is because you know that's the, some of the places where I go fishing is hot, humid, and I like to have that you know air coming through. Cabela's, I don't know. It's it's because I have a several of these hats laying around, but I've used different ones. Um, who knows? Maybe one day I'll start a casual observations line of trucker caps. <laughs> But for now, this one is going to work. Okay. So the tools you're going to need is obviously you're going to need a hat. You're going to need like a Sharpie, a drill, and a drill bit that is going to be able to match the width of this. This is the, the base. The, and it's... I can't, I can't even tell you what the size of it is. I just... You know, here is, I usually say, there's no scientific observations here, just casual ones. I just picked a drill bit that was going to be as big or a little bigger than uh, this base uh, fastener. Okay, then you're going to need, I think I said you're going to need a Sharpie. Uh, then, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, you're going to need the base. So these bases you can order online from Amazon I always get the <clears throat> excuse me the metal bases because I've done the plastic ones before and the screw right here where it screws in where it comes up through has snapped off when I've been tightening and screwing it screwing it in there so I go with the metal ones now and it, it works out pretty well and you can just order them. I don't know which ones exactly the the actual name of it, but you'll just you know you'll see them on there. The metal ones. The other thing I've had in the past with these is where this the camera slides in. These little uh, bases or these little channels can crack as the camera goes in, and so we don't want that. So you want to get a good quality brand base. Okay. So then the next thing what I did was, this hat's already been drilled. I drilled it, uh, and I was thinking, you know what, maybe I should make a how-to video. So essentially what I did was, is I measured this 
just like that because you don't want the camera at the front because then your hat will tip forward. So it always works well for me to have it at the back like this. So what I did was, is in that little hole right there, I had an old timer pocket knife and I stuck it down in there and I made a mark on the cap. You could do it with like a, a pen or a pencil, a Sharpie or whatever, but you need to mark where you're gonna drill. So then I went ahead and drilled the holes, went right through. You can kind of see on the bottom where it came through. So then the next step is to punch this through here and it'll, it'll be tight, it'll be tricky, but you can get it in there. There we go. So you just keep pushing and working it. The thing is you gotta be careful because you don't want it to snap at the base. <laughs> but just keep pushing and working it there it goes see the thing is you don't want to drill the hole too big either because you don't want moisture and stuff like that to get in there so you want it kind of tight and it'll hold it okay so then the next thing is to put the rest of the base on Get it nice and tight. And sometimes what I have to do is get a pair of pliers to hold this as I'm tightening up here. Cause see, it'll, it'll spin on you. So you want it nice and tight. Then you can attach the rest of this. And the tricky part is you're going to have to get it turned to how you want it so that it's facing the right way. So you just got to twist and tighten, twist and tighten. And then you pop this in and you can fasten it on there. All right, guys. So I'm using the chest cam today and I hate using the chest cam. But I'm going to take it off now and then show you how this will mount on there. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm going to set you down here. So the thing is, with these bases, I ordered a couple extra ones. Because, you know, they're, I mean, they're, they're durable, but you always need to have a couple to back you up. And so that's, that's a key thing here. All right, so bear with me. Hopefully you can see that. I'll squish this down, but I set the base in. You'll have room to put the camera in from the back. If not, you just squish the hat down a little bit. Then once you've got it in, you just tighten it up, and then you tilt it how you want to do it. So there was that one Lunker Grub fishing, uh, I think it was Lunker Grub or I was doing like the Senko challenge or whatever and I used a Lunker Grub. Anyway, I caught that massive bass while I had swapped out hat cams and this was pointed too high. I had it actually straight like this and it was just sitting too high, the camera angle. So then what I do is I tilt it down just a bit to get the right angle. And then it, it works out really well. But the key thing is to make sure everything's tight on the bottom. And there are times where, you know, you're in a rush, you're moving around, you're fishing and you get bumped or, um, you know, the hat gets bumped or whatever. You're loading and unloading it out of the, out of the vehicle and it can get turned or knocked down so you want to make sure that you have it set for every session 
And then you already saw how I put the dead cat over it. And let me see uh, right here. The other thing that I did was, oops, is I drill I drilled the hole. I don't know if you can see it right in here to help with the microphone to get the sound, you know, to get better sound. Uh, especially when I put the dead cat on, I needed to have a little bit more in there. And on the top, on this base, I drilled another one right here for the speaker or for the microphone or whatever to pick up the sound. I don't think I did anything on the side. Nope. Just those two spots. This one and this one. And for my spare mounts, I've got to go back and check to make sure that uh, I've got these drilled out because I'll forget about it. But I'm using the Hero 5, guys, and I know everyone's like, oh, man, there's, you know, the 10s are out and soon to be 11s. Something about the 5 just works really, really well. I know the batteries aren't the best. You know, I'm. it's mind-boggling that we have batteries that you can put in all sorts of electronics that'll last two days before you got to charge them. And how GoPro can't get one, even with usage, for the thing to last easily 12 hours without having to recharge. Maybe they're getting there, so who knows. Maybe they could put a little, just a miniature little solar panel on, on the side or the top of these to keep the charge going if you're out in daylight. So there's all kinds of things they could do. They just need to get on the ball and get with it, you know. But I used the 5. It's fantastic. And plus I got the 5 for, it was like 120 bucks. the Hero Black. So, you know, I keep my eyes open and hopefully uh, I could pick up another 5. Or I may just even try out one of the, the newer ones. But whatever the case is, everyone's got different cameras. And this one just works well for me. Remember, I'm not a professional you know, I just do this for fun to get out there and just document some fishing. It's kind of like a fishing uh, diary for me or like a library. All right, so that's pretty much going to wrap it up, guys. And you got your homemade hat cam. And, you know, it's worked out well for me. I used to do the chest cam, and I just hated it because how I fish, my hands are always right in front of where the camera would be. And I got sick and tired of that, so um, I went ahead and tested out the hat cam. The reason I got the idea from the hat cam was there was a girl I dated that did a lot of hiking and trail riding, mountain bike stuff. She wore a helmet, and she had kind of a different setup for that. But when she'd be out walking or hiking on these different trails... She used to use a chest cam, and she says, I, you know, I hate doing it. And she likes to have her phone where she can use it, hold it up, if she sees something she wants to take pictures of. So she learned from the Internet, and I think her dad, if I'm not mistaken, her dad helped her. They came up with uh, a hat cam, and it, it worked really well. And I was thinking, man, you know, that's something I could do if, if I ever start making fishing videos and, you know, I toyed around with the idea of it for quite a while. And uh, she's long gone now. She, You know how life goes. You go your separate ways or whatever. But, you know, thanks to her and, you know, her testing these things out, I got the idea for the hack cam to do it this way. And then the other thing is, I, you know, I looked online and kind of saw how other people did their hack cams. And I just wanted to make sure that it was, you know, a good way to go. The key is to have it here at the back, right there, because if it's too f far forward, then it'll slip. And even back here at the back, it can be, uh, it can start to tilt. You'll see me, see me or hear me every once in a while adjust the hat, and I'll say, hey guys, sorry, I got to adjust the hat cam. Like if I'm looking straight down or leaning and I've been sweating, you know, the cap will uh, slip a little bit. But um, anyway, so I just want to give you a quick little tutorial of how to, uh, how to uh, make one of these. And, you know, it's really pretty simple. The hardest part is just drilling the hole and then making sure this is super tight. 
like I said, I'll get a pair of pliers and then just tighten that down even more by uh, holding it up here, holding it down here and then twisting up here. And then I'll get um, the camera situated how I want it to go. But anyway, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today. Uh, thanks for hanging around. Hopefully this helps you out. You can use it for not just fishing, but like I was saying, for hiking. And it gives you, it leaves your hands uh, free so you can do other things like fish or maybe take pictures. And you don't have to worry about blocking uh, the chest cam or whatever. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, guys, I got to get out of here. There's some good football games that are on. I got to catch up on those. Uh, hopefully my Hawkeyes can win tonight. Hopefully my Red Raiders can win. Hopefully my Florida Gators can win. Uh, right now it's Saturday when I'm making this and the Red River Shootout is on. I know they want to call it the Red River Showdown or the Red River Rivalry. I just still call it what it, you know, how it was originally titled, the Red River Shootout, because, man, it's, it's just one heck of a game. All right, guys. Hey, listen, until next time, I'll see you then. I hope you're doing well out there catching stuff, fall fishing. You know, let me know in the comments, you know, what your plan of uh, attack is to get some of these fish. Here it's still hot, so nothing has changed too much. But, um, you know, there's just trying to stick with it, stay consistent. I've, I've been really into using those twitch tails lately. Uh, they're so much fun to use, and, you know, they're, I'm sure I'll keep using them. All right, guys, uh, have a good one. Enjoy your weekend, and have a great week and a great fall fishing session. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.